Welcome to UWC News. Today we prepared some special items for you. This year UWC celebrates its 50th birthday. UWC Maastricht wanted to celebrate this in a very special way. It is the story of the Japanese girl Sadako, who tried to fold 1,000 paper cranes for our peaceful world. That inspired us to try to break the world record, paper cranes folding. To get into the Guinness Book of World Records, 100 students of UWC Maastricht tried to fold more than 150 cranes within 5 minutes. All students were gathered in the secondary gym and cheered the 100 participants for the competition. Only the perfectly folded cranes were going to be counted. For each folded bird, they were going to raise 10 cents. The money earned this way went to the Ronald McDonald Foundation. One hundred and eighty four cranes were folded, a new world record. At the end of the day, twelve hundred euros were given. A great achievement! Teacher Yorgos is one of our special teachers at the moment. He is a student teacher from Greece who came all the way to Maastricht to learn about teaching in an international school. Pavel wanted an interview with teacher Yorgos in Greece. Unfortunately, UWC News has no budget for this. We will have to improvise with some photos from Greece instead. I have to ask a few questions to you. Why did why did you come to the Netherlands? Well, uh, I had many reasons to come to the Netherlands. Uh, firstly, I wanted to experience something different than what I have experienced till now in Greece. So I, I need something different, like a different weather and a different educational system and generally different different culture. So. That's why I didn't choose, for instance, Spain or Italy or Turkey. Yeah. Why did you want to be a teacher? Um, mostly, I'd like to be a teacher because I love children. Yeah, I, they are lovely. So. Okay, thank you. And um, why did you choose our school to learn to be a teacher? Yeah. Actually, I had the International School of Maths because it, my, it was my second choice, but it was also the only one that replied to my mail. Oh. And that's why I'm very thankful for that, okay. because no one else replied to the mail. That uh, when are you going to leave our school? To um, on December. Yeah, on December. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And the final question, what, what do you like the most in our school? I really like that we have so many cultures here with so many so many children from different cultures. You are friends with each other and <coughs> you don't have to to have these differences. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Thank you for the interview. I'm thank you. I thank for the uh, for choosing me for that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. In October all our groups developed special activities for children's book week. Books were read about this year's theme, Hello World. Moms came into classes to read books from their home countries. And for the competition that was held, lots of artworks were made. On the last day, there was an assembly to celebrate the winners. Ja, ik geef een vis voor alle man die komen wil. En het is de bedoeling dat ik wil. At the end of the week, 
The prize winners for each category were announced. These are the winners in year 1 and 2. They made a drawing about the story they read. These are the winners in year 3 and 4. They also made a very beautiful drawing. And in year 5 and 6, the students created a diorama in a box. And the winner is Simon We congratulate all the students with their prizes. Another activity was held to celebrate Radio C's 50th birthday. Maybe you have seen our special broadcast about the tour to Wales. Six students and three teachers cycled all the way from Maastricht to Wales to raise money for a student from Africa to come and study at UWC Maastricht. This is an exciting adventure that we're undertaking. The Alderman of Sports of the Maastricht Council gave the start signal. On a wet and cold day, they left, and seven days later, they arrived in sunny Wales, where they had a very hearty welcome. In October, teacher Cheryl celebrated her 65th birthday. For teachers in the Netherlands, this means they have to retire. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That means that she does not need to come back to school to work. That was why on the last day of October, all the students of primary were in the playground to say goodbye to teacher Cheryl. She really would have liked to continue to work with all the ELL students. She left sad having to leave our school after almost 20 years of teaching. Of course, we hope to see her back sometime for a cup of coffee. in the secondary atrium. All the party goers went past the trick-or-treat card trunks first. In the atrium, children and adults enjoyed their exciting experience playing Halloween games. Thank you, parent support group, for having organized this party once again. Of all the few trips that have taken place up to now, 
We followed year one on the trip to the children's farm in Maastricht. On a Wednesday morning in November, year one went on a field trip to the children's farm in Maastricht. When they went into the classroom there, they found a wooden shoe with a message from Santa Claus. He wanted some help. Mina always had to ma is not in problem. There were not enough paper notes for all the children. They found a stack with all the ingredients to make some extra paper notes. Look, these are the seeds to be grinded to make oatmeal. The oatmeal went in first. But then some other ingredients had to be added. Sugar? Butter? And some more butter? Water? Salt? And? Now the children knew how to make the paper note. They started grinding, sifting, kneading, making the shapes for cookies. And baking. At the end, they had to try out if it was yummy. A mom put the peppernut and cookies in a bag to take back to school. We were very happy to see that Santa Claus came to visit our school again this year to celebrate his birthday. Santa Claus's horse didn't feel very well, and that is why Mr. Fusaki offered to bring Santa Claus and his wife to beat it to school by bike taxi. Santa Claus Capuche. All the students of our primary school were in the lower school playground to welcome Santa Claus. As you can see, they also took the big book. In that book, Santa Claus saves all drawings and he writes down all the good news about the children. After this great welcome in the playground, he paid a visit to all the groups. Again, Swakta Pete had to help Santa Claus find the right page. After all, Santa Claus is getting very old now. The children had learned some Dutch Santa Claus songs, and you can see that Santa Claus enjoyed them. Staakt u wilt verraas, het heerlijk avondje is gekomen, het avondje van Sinterklaas. In year 3, Sinterklaas received a small copy of his steamboat. 
wie de koe krijgt, wie de gaat. Vol verwachting klopt ons hart, wie de koe krijgt, wie de gaat. And in year four, he tries to solve some riddles. In your four, five, and six, students had made presents for each other. In year five, Santa Claus found out that Teacher Carrie is going to leave us. Teacher Carrie, who is Teacher Carrie? Are you going to leave? Yeah. Oh, okay. Back home. Okay. In year six, the students had a lot to tell about the activities they had been doing. And we almost forgot to tell you that Santa Claus brought some presents for each group. Good morning, Teacher Carey. Good morning. I see that you are very, working very hard with the Year 5 students. I am. We're talking about rounding today. But it's okay if we have an interview with you. Absolutely. Santa Claus told us that you were going to leave our school. Why is that? I have to go home to the United States because my fiancé, his work is bringing us home. Did you like working in UWC Maastricht? I loved it. I have a lot of great students from all over the world, so it's been really nice. What did you like best? I really liked having kids from all over the world, and I really liked meeting all of the teachers at UWC. They're also from all over the place, so I had a really good time teaching here. What will you miss most when you go back to America? I think I'll miss my students the most. I really will. They're all really, really good kids. So I'm going to miss teaching them and working with Teacher Suzanne and Teacher Lonica. Do you think you will come back to UWC Maastricht in the future? I hope so. I would like to come back and see the new school and see how well all of my year five students have been doing. So I would really like to come back. Okay, thank you. This is the end of our UWC News today.